everyone, Super Thing Guy here. Welcome to the blueprint. Here I'm going to show you how physics is pretty easy and straightforward. Uh, you know, at least you know the part that works and that makes sense and that is proven. You know, this is going to be a series to show you that every healthy, conscious person is a lot capable to understand physics. It is nothing that will make a knot out of your brain. You know, some people make it sound like it's uh, confusing, but it's not. Obviously, the, they're the ones that uh, are confusing the whole thing because uh, physics is pretty, you know, log it's logical and, and straightforward and reasonable. And you don't have to be some kind of a genius to, you know, to figure it out. And I know I'm not. And uh, contrary to what the uh, hugely overrated government academia may want you to believe and you know and keep such an important subject elitist and confusing well well the good news is that physics is a piece of cake uh, it sets you free well in this first video I'm going to show you the easy math and how objective it is and how rewarding it is first uh, let's start from the beginning shall we we all know how to add divide subtract and multiply you know the numbers right okay so you know arithmetic that is all that is all the knowledge that that's all you have to know you know to follow me here okay so in physics in order to get things straight we need to give values or numbers a name uh, in this case we're gonna give them a letter or a symbol if you will when we do that we are doing algebra you know the arithmetic of symbols that represent numbers I don't know if you've seen like uh, an equation with letters instead of numbers that's an, uh, in, you know algebra you know that way you can put a, a, a relationship among quantities you know the equation uh, together and then when you need to add the numbers when you need to do the actual you know calculations so uh, let's start with our first example you know we all need examples we all need illustration mm, to get things so uh, you know the operations that we already know like addition subtraction multiplication division have the same meaning in algebra as in arithmetic so here we have a formula it means that to find the value of x we must add a and b we only do this first because it's in parentheses so we do the operation in parentheses first and then next we do the multiplication in this case we multiply by C then we do the division in this case we divide by D and finally we subtract E so the first thing that you do when solving an equation you must um, you know do the operation in parentheses next you do the multiplication and after the multiplication you do the division and then the addition and then the subtraction there's more to it but uh, we'll learn uh, more as we go okay with the basic order of operations done uh, let's move on to see how negative and positive quantities you know relate to one another in multiplication and division if the quantities are both positive or both negative the result is positive you know it's the same is the same as saying for example in both when both positive uh, it's like saying I love lovers so the result is positive or in, in both negative uh, you know I hate haters so the result is positive positive. and if one is positive and the other is negative the result is negative it's like saying I love haters so it's negative or the other way around uh, I hate lovers the result is negative so that gets the point across uh, here we have an example uh, plus a times plus b equals plus a b you know it's the same as for example a times b we showed like this a b because uh, it's just uh, you know this the symbols it's the letters we're not actually doing the operation so instead of the number that's the result of a b we show a b so a plus times plus b it's w e equals to you know plus a b and also uh, minus a times minus b equals plus a, a b you know and also uh, 
in this in the situation of you know a negative and a positive equals uh, a negative so here we have a uh, minus a times plus b you know equals minus a b and then the same thing here you know it's minus a b that was uh you know the multiplication part in division it's basically the same way i can show you you know two examples but in division as you can see it's a, it's the same relationship okay now that we've got a few things you know let's put it to practice